Hi everyone, uh, thanks for checking out this video. Um, as the title suggests, uh, it's about the installation of a Starlink system uh, uh, in the central belt of Scotland. Um, the reason I'm creating this video, and this is by no means uh, professional in any any shape or form, I'm uh, just uh, doing this on my phone. But the reason for doing it is as I was checking out, uh, uh, checking out numerous videos on YouTube uh, to decide whether to buy Starlink or not. Uh, I could find loads of videos from the US and Canada and even a couple from the UK. There's absolutely nothing uh, from Scotland so uh, so I wasn't even sure whether it works in terms of coverage. Now the fact that they're selling it in Scotland now and have been doing for probably six months or so uh, suggests that it does work um, but, uh, but, but I don't know for sure yet. Uh, to give you a little bit of context uh, on this, uh, um, I'm based in the North Lanarkshire, in, in the heart of North Lanarkshire, in the central belt in Scotland, and uh, and we moved into this house uh, around um, six years ago. And at the time we moved in, we uh, we simply had a BT connection over the traditional um, copper wires. Uh, so the broadband we had was through that, that method, uh, incredibly slow, in fact six years ago, download speeds of one and a half to two meg. It's improved over the last six years, uh, we now get a max of five to five and a half meg, but typically running normally at three to four meg. So as you can imagine, uh, trying to run TVs and, and six people in the house, uh, it's not it's not great and it didn't work particularly well. So going back a couple of years ago, I then installed a, a Huawei 4G router uh, with a, a, an e SIM card uh, to try and improve it, uh, and that's got uh, that's connected to an external antenna on the roof, and uh, and uh, and and it's it's better. Uh, and I'll do, just so you've got the context, I'll do some um, some speed tests on it and, uh, and let you see that. Um, but uh, but even though we're in the heart of, uh, heart of North Lanarkshire and Central Scotland and there's fibre all around us, I live in a little farming village, uh, there's no fibre here and it doesn't look as if it's come for some time. So... Um, just needed to try and uh, try and improve the service here uh, because we use it for lots of uh, lots of traditional things and and uh, such as um, the 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 TVs and and running Spotify and Netflix and Sonos and all these things. Um, so that's the the reason for it and uh, and this is uh, maybe to help some people who who are in this area. Uh, uh, thinking about Starlink and want to figure out whether it's worth spending the money on or not. Uh, so you understand, I've invested uh, four hundred and ninety-five pound on the hardware and an eighty-nine pound um, per month uh, subscription. Um, I mean, I've got great hopes that it's actually going to uh, improve things, but uh, but I don't know. Um, but we'll find out as we go through this video. Um, th this video will be recorded over a, a few days. Uh, I'm awaiting delivery for uh, of the, the Starlink kit. It'll come in the next couple of days, and as it comes, um, I'll I'll show you uh, I'll show you arriving and, and getting set up, etc. And uh, and we'll see if it, if it actually makes uh, makes any difference. So. Um, one of the things that I've looked at is uh, is a site called uh, Starlink.sx, which shows uh, it's not it's not an official site of, of Starlink, uh, but some very clever people have uh, set up a site where you can see the satellites moving across the globe, uh, and it shows the coverage of each of those satellites, and it shows the base stations or hubs. Um, and how the how they're connecting to it, uh, and uh, and it shows um, shows uh, where the coverage extends to, uh, in the kind of northern part of uh, northern part of Scotland. Um, so uh, I'll maybe show you that as well, just just so that you can 
just to, so you can see it. So um, what I'll do now is uh, I'll do some uh, speed test just so again so you've got context before we get into the installation. Okay so just so that you can see where I'm at, uh, where I am, um, I'm going on to this site uh, just a, a standard um, speed checker wifi man.com and uh, what I'll do is I'll first of all start with the uh, the BT Hub, uh, if we can get that to uh, focus properly, there you go, BT Hub, and I'll connect to that. And once that's connected, uh, I'll just uh, run the speed test. Okay, so that's it connected. Uh, let me rerun the test and you'll be able to see uh, the speeds we're getting. Okay, so what you're seeing here is is the norm, pretty standard for what I get across uh, the copper wires, uh, you know, three to four meg downward speed and, and usually about 0 0.7 um, uh, upward speed. So I'll let that finish and, uh, and we'll get exact figures from it. Okay, so as you can see, 3.75 meg downward speed, 0.83 upward speed. So what I'll do now is I'll go to my Huawei 4G connection using an EE SIM. Uh, again, just uh, so that you can get a comparison on it. Just wait for that to connect, that's it connected. And let me rerun the test uh, now. Okay, so you can immediately see the difference uh, just using the the 4G card. Um, that's actually a little bit higher than I normally get. I normally get between 15 and 20 uh, meg downward speed. Uh, the upload speed's always better. Um, uh, there's some uh, technical reasons for that that I won't uh, I won't bore you with, um, but uh, but as you can imagine, that is significantly better than the BT connection uh, using the copper wire. So 21.8 meg download, 35.1 meg upload. So that's um, that's that's pretty good, uh, and uh, but still won't run multiple TVs and, and have six people on the internet and uh, you know it's uh, and it's a little bit flaky so um, depending on weather depending on usage it can drop down to uh, 10 meg um, still significantly better than across copper wire but not great uh, to be honest okay so I'll just show you very quickly uh, very briefly uh, Starlink.sx and what it uh, actually gives you. So what you can see here is uh, that green dot there is where I actually am uh, in Scotland and as you can see uh, all these blue dots are the satellites and um, you know and you'll see as it progresses the satellites moving across uh, across the globe um, and what it shows with those yellow dotted lines is what uh, base station or hub the satellite is then connected to um, and just to give you an insight into it if I were to pick one of the satellites closest to me say this one here and click on it then what it does is it shows you the coverage of that one satellite so you can see I'm kind of right on the periphery, but it should work. And as time goes on, these satellites will gradually be deployed uh, in more northerly um, positions. Uh, and so you'll get much better coverage. So that's just to give you a, uh, give you a useful site that, uh, that's worth looking at uh, if, if, uh, if you're interested in it. You don't actually need it for this, but, but some people may be interested in that. Okay, so just to finish this part off, um, the the 
the Starlink system is in uh, beta test, um, but if you're watching this, you probably already know that, um, uh, which means that there will be some outages with it. They tend to be really quite short from what I can understand. Um, but my intention here is to um, install it, do speed checks on it, probably run it for a month and, and create another video that just for uh, for the findings um, so that it might be helpful. Um, but... Uh, but over time, that uh, it's going to improve because I think they've got permission to, they've got permission to deploy something like twelve thousand satellites. At the moment, they've got three and a half thousand. Um, they they orbit at, at um, various altitudes, but they're they're uh, low altitude um, orbits. Um, the uh, the issue may come for some people around latency. I'm not particularly bothered about latency uh, because, uh, you know, I don't do gaming or anything like this, but it may be a problem for some people. Um, but as they deploy more and more, that latency time should reduce. Um, you know, they've still got another, they've only deployed something like 3,000, so so they've got another, uh, they've got another, um, you know, potentially another nine thousand to deploy yet over time. So, um, so yeah. So uh, at the next part of the video, uh, I'll, I'll have received the the dish and I'll, and I'll uh, show you unpacking it and and what's in it, etc., etc. And uh, and we'll pick it up from there. Okay, folks. So. Starlink systems arrived, uh, ordered on the 10th of January 2022 and it's just arrived today on the 1st of February so let's uh, let's see what's in the box. Uh, I also ordered the pole mount at the same time um, so I was expecting two packages and uh, uh, let's see what's in it. Okay, so first thing is a single page uh, instruction booklet. I'm sure if you've watched these before, you, it'll not really come as a surprise what's in here. Uh, you've got a mountain stand. You've got the various uh, cables uh, with 100 feet of cable. And then you've got the dish itself. Uh, fair rate in the dish, I have to say. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much what's in it. Uh, so it does, uh, does get given a little bit of an issue because the mountain pole hasn't arrived. But uh, but yeah, there you go. That's it, and I'll show you where uh, where it's going to be mounted. Okay, so in terms of where uh, the plan is to site the, the satellite dish, uh, this is my backyard, as you can see, it's a fair amount of space here. Uh, we're, we're obviously in winter, we've got a big tree there, big tree there, and at the front of the house, quite a few big trees. Um, so the intention is to mount it on the pole here. Uh, that is the antenna for the the Huawei 4G um, that I spoke about earlier. So the intention is to put it up in that pole. You can see it's a really windy day today. And uh, so it's going to go up mount on that pole, but the pole mount isn't uh, isn't here yet. Uh, so I'll let you see that once we get around to that. Hi, so the next stage of, uh, of the installation of uh, Starlink was to actually put the dish up on the roof, um, which we've now done. Um, you see uh, we've got it up there, 
it was originally uh, on a a pole that was up holding the the 4G um, antenna, which is on that pole. Uh, but I've had to beef it up because it was wasn't big enough. So it was a 35 mil pole. The weight in that just won't take it. So that's it installed just now. And uh, and what we'll do uh, at the moment, the cable's just running across the roof and and through a front window until we can until we can get it in through the wall, which I'll do in the next couple of days. Uh, and we'll do some tests uh, around the, the speed now to uh, to see whether this actually works or not. Okay, folks. So as I said, uh, as I said a little bit earlier, uh, the satellite dish is is on the roof. Cables just run over the the uh, the roof just now and in through a window. Uh, I need to drill holes to get it in, but at least this allows me to test and uh, and see how it performs against against uh, the, the other options I have. Just as a reminder, uh, I've got broadband through uh, the normal BT cables uh, and I've also got broadband through a 4G uh, router with a SIM card, a Huawei router with a SIM card and, uh, and now the Starlink uh, dish. So um, uh, I'll just uh, I'll just insert some pictures rather than uh, you watching me change from change from um, from different broadband. Uh, I've uh, stood next to all three routers, which is uh, they're all in the same place, and just done a speed test on, on all three of them. So um, I, I'll show you that uh, I'll show you that now. So as you can see um, uh, from the, the three different uh, speed tests with the BT broadband over the copper wire uh, no surprise 4.46 megabit download speed uh, with uh, the, the Huawei um, 4G uh, option uh, we're getting 19, 19.7 um, uh, megabits download speed and with Starlink uh, on the first pass, we're getting two hundred and sixteen meg uh, download speed, which I have to say is sensational. Um, so, and I'll probably do a part two of this. I'll run it for a, I'll run it for a couple of weeks or maybe even a month. Uh, get everything hooked up to it. I've got a bit more work to do because uh, a part of this house is is two hundred years old. Uh, the walls are a foot and a half thick, so even with the Starlink Star, uh, router, um, I can't get Wi-Fi to different parts of the house because the walls are just too thick. So, so as the next day, stage in this, I'm implementing uh, a mesh network. Uh, when, the, when we renovated the house, we put uh, Cat6 fibre all the way through the house. So hopefully what I'll be able to do is um, is hook up the mesh to the to Starlink, either by replacing the Starlink router or just uh, by using the port in the Starlink router to to uh, hook into the main um, uh, mesh router, and then with a, a TP-Link uh, gigabit switch. Uh, then wire up the rest of the house and the TVs and, and all the other stuff that we've got and run it for a while and uh, part two of this uh, video then will uh, will come maybe in a few weeks time and uh, and I can give you the results to, to to see if it's worth it. I have to say on the initial results uh, it looks very very powerful um, we're still in, in beta test uh, they're kind of talking about between 100 and 200 meg um, normally just now uh, the satellites don't come this far north so uh, once the next uh, sets are deployed uh, then the speeds will increase and uh, the, the Starlink's goal in all of this is to provide gigabyte um, download speeds basically anywhere on the planet. 
So it looks as if it's going to work. Quite pleased with the initial uh, with the initial um, reaction. I did have some problems when I set it up initially. Uh, when I first set it up and tested it, we were getting decent speeds within about ten or fifteen minutes. They dropped way down to um, way down to probably two or three meg download speeds, and I couldn't figure out why. But the Starlink app actually was telling me that the Ethernet cables, uh, there was a problem with the Ethernet cables, so the app was telling me that. So I took them all out, checked them, couldn't see anything wrong, and uh, contacted um, Starlink through their support desk. And uh, But before, uh, before they could reply, uh, on further inspection, I found that one of the Ethernet cables had a tiny little piece of debris between two of the pins. And when I took that out, the thing sprung into action. So, so you can have some problems setting up, but uh, but it's going going well now. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'll come back at some point uh, in the next few weeks and and let you know how it's going and and if it's working. But it certainly seems to work uh, right now. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in, and hopefully it was uh, helpful to some of you.